for a little bit of everything here. Coming from a PvE player, like almost strictly PvE, although I do delve into PvP because I'm ridiculous sometimes, I think Orsinium offers more bang for your buck. I feel it offers me more hours of gameplay as a PvE player, and I feel that it offers me more of a diversity of what to do. Uh, sure, Imperial City does seem to offer you a diversity because there was group dungeons, there's PvP as well, there's a main quest line that's PvE, but Orsinium is offering me questing, it's offering me dungeons that I can do with a group because there's two separate public dungeons, it's offering me a solo competitive experience that I can find in the arena, which is something that's never been seen in this game before. So I think that Orsinium is actually a better bang for my buck for sure, it just, the zone is bigger, it the, it feels, there's more gameplay hours to it, and that's, you know, taking in just your one time, even if I only did everything once in each zone, I would have far more time spent in Orsinium than I would in Imperial City, and at only 100 crowns more than Imperial City was, I believe it's 100 crowns more, Hero, am I correct? Um, 100 crowns more, no, it's, I think they're both 3,000, but I might be wrong on that. No, no. Uh, or City of Matches, no, okay, it's 500 crowns more. Mm. Uh, because Imperial City was not the same amount of crowns as you could buy a crown pack. Ah, okay. So it was 2,500 crowns, and Orsinium, you're right, is 3,000 crowns. But mm -hmm. still, 500 crowns, to me, is worth worth that extra gameplay time. Even in just the one-time content that I just do once on per character, Orsinium, I feel, has absolutely way more and they both do offer some replayability especially imperial city does offer the pve the group dungeons but you do have your public dungeons your world bosses that as we figured out earlier today do drop set pieces and that solo competitive experience so as a pve player i just feel that i'm getting more for my money with orsinium than i did with ic yay yeah! <laughs> All right, uh, now time for my spiel, I guess. <laughs> All right, so my opinion on Arsidium is it's definitely something you're going to want to buy. Uh, it has a lot of PvE content. It has a lot of content you can grind through if you choose to. Uh, for PvPers, it's not going to have a whole lot of content, but look at the sets that you're going to get for it. It's going to offer a lot of stuff that you want in just the arena itself and actually uh, I feel like it, it has it has several elements to it that I really like that they're going with here because it feels like a lot of things that they're doing here are gearing up to the next DLCs with this and but I you, you take a look at some of the changes here right the champion point changes and the caps and the increases uh, the catch-up mechanics to it uh, lend itself to help people catch up to the rest of the people here for the next DLC. The Maelstrom Arena, it's a solo player, it's a single player PV, or not PV, a PVE arena where you go in and you compete against other people um, when you're hit vet 16 you get your stuff in there, which teaches you mechanics to how to dodge roll, how to recognize tells, all this other stuff. People who have been getting carried through dungeons and through some of the end level content are going to have to step up their game to actually realize how to go in and do the um, Maelstrom Marina. They're not going to be able to just simply, oh, I have a good group of three here, I'm going to be able to just ca carry on them. No, they're going to have to learn mechanics, which will make them a better player for the next stuff that's coming up. That's, that, that is one important thing that I, I like about the arena there, that, you know, most people worry that it's going to take away from dungeons and all that stuff, and... Honestly, they're going to have better dungeon runs because people are going to learn through Maelstrom Arena, you know, how to make a build that's more sustainable, how to keep a DPS up while not getting themselves killed because they put an, all their stats into stamina or something else like that. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the content is great. I, I like it a lot. I, I, I like the fact that they're putting more story into some of this and not like... And, and, and it's not just like a forced retelling of something it's something new that's coming into the elder scrolls uh side they're adding new content in the um look of it it looks really awesome with a lot of the stuff here um i, I do have some issues here and there with some of it that I, I would like to see polished with it um uh mainly with the 
um, cities. I'd like to see them bigger, but I like the size of this one here. Um, I would like to see more connection to some of the other areas as well, but I understand with the DLC, if they add in more quests outside of this, that they possibly have issues with that as well. Um, I like the fact they have two dungeons, uh, two public dungeons inside this, but the public dungeons, I still wish they would add in more um, more group content with it. Like we, Each public dungeon has a group challenge to it, but I would like to see more than one group challenge to it myself. Um, the world bosses are challenged to this as well, which add in uh, more reasons to do it, but I'm just hoping that people are going to come in and help on them as well when we, when we do do them. Uh, and I would like to see more dungeons with this as well, but I understand that that's going to be the next DLC. So, uh, if you know, as long as we have some, you know, something looking more forward to some of the group content inside this, I'm going to be happy. Um, I, I just like to see people come together with it as well. Like most of this, you can solo, which is nice, but I'd like to see people come together with uh, some of this as well. But don't take those small criticisms to be like too negative on this like i'd still like the uh, the whole of this as well because uh for what it does have um for content you can do it with any one of your friends whether they be level 10 level 35 vet 1 vet 6 vet 16 throughout this entire zone because everyone's getting battle leveled which they are is another big major improvement that we're going to be seeing with this as well so um, i do recommend people to get it if you're not quite sure if you're still on the fence go ahead get eso plus and go with it as well because um, go with it and try it out. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you can try out for maybe one or two months. Um, you can buy this DLC. You can buy Imperial City if you prefer to go with that. Or you can possibly buy the next two DLCs that are going to be coming up with that as, too, as well. Um, but come in here. I definitely recommend trying it out. Uh, watch our streams if you want to take a look at more content as we go through it as well. Uh, if you're more interested in some of the lore and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I really do feel like it's going to be a good, good item here to get into. So that's mine. <laughs> Apologies for the rant. Can I just like throw in a little tidbit? You can edit this out. Oh, sure. Like, uh, so you mentioned you would like more group content. So I, I, mm -hmm. I pissed off a group boss in Orsidium when I was on the BTS. <laughs> I realized that wasn't so smart. Yes. That brought me back to April or May of last year when the game was brand new to PC and when an anchor dropped or when a world boss spawned people yeah. yelled in zone chat for help and because people it, went to help them and it yes. brought people together and I love that because and I'm those happy that they're, to me that's the yes they didn't add any dedicated group content but they did ensure that the difficulty level was somewhere where yes you can solo the majority of this content but they wanted to bring strangers together and I think this did that well and I miss yeah. that from when I first started this game because now you you can go through and solo that domain yourself man you don't need anybody's help mm -hmm. I'm happy they brought that back because that's how you meet people that's how you become friends with random strangers right sorry that's my little rant <laughs> <laughs> yes um, okay and that's done uh, one other thing we 